Helping your brain with a patch on the Health Watch. A new study is getting underway to determine if a patch used to help people stop smoking may also improve memory. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now with more on the research. Sounds pretty intriguing, yeah. doesn't it, guys? You know, there is currently no FDA approved medication to treat memory loss, which often happens as people age. And while there's a lot of research underway looking for new therapies, one treatment might be something already being used to treat a dangerous addiction. More than 8 million Americans have mild cognitive impairment, a condition that affects memory and other thinking skills. It's often a precursor to Alzheimer's disease. There's preliminary evidence that nicotine patches might be able to help. Nicotine stimulates parts of the brain that are important for memory loss and seem to be involved in the early stages of Alzheimer's disease and other similar conditions. We think that nicotine may act to actually enhance the activity of those systems in a way that makes people's attention and memory sharper. Dr. Paul Newhouse is the national director of the MIND study. It's the largest and longest running study of its kind, testing a nicotine patch, the same thing that's used to help people stop smoking. One of the advantages of using a patch is that it gets around all the negative effects of inhaling. So there's no addiction liability, there's none of the lung damage that we see with smoking or vaping. A preliminary study with 74 patients using a patch showed improvements. We found that nicotine enhanced memory and attention functioning in those patients with no significant or serious side effects. And we were able to convince the NIH that this was really worth testing in a much larger sample in a national study. And so now they are recruiting 300 volunteers over the age of 55 at 29 sites around the country. Locally, the nicotine study is being done at Lehigh Hospital and Hershey Medical Center. And while it might be tempting to try this on your own, doctors say that is not advised. We have a lot more mm. information and the links for people who might be interested. CBSPhilly.com, click on health. Check it out. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks, Deb. Right.